Hey guys, this is Steven from TechSteveHD.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move files from one Samsung Galaxy over to another one. Now, do you own this Galaxy? This Galaxy? This Galaxy? How about this one? This one? Or this one? Doesn't matter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move your files over. Let's get started. This phone is not activated, this phone is, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, since normally this doesn't have internet connectivity because it's not activated, you'll need to connect to Wi-Fi by dragging your finger down, hitting the star, hitting Wi-Fi, finding the Wi-Fi, connecting on it, and logging in. The next thing you want to do is go to the Play Store on both devices. Once you get this up, just hit the little microphone. Samsung Smart Switch. It's the first one that comes up. Install and since I had this on this on this unit before, you just want to hit uh, update. So right here, after you do the terms and condition, you're going to select your device, going over to this device. So we're going to be going from Android device. Hit start. And that's going to be the one that sends it. And then this is going to be the one that receives it. Now you can see it actually found it. You have a checklist here. Now what it will do is anything that's not applicable, the checklist goes off. Once you get that, just hit send. On the other unit, just hit receive. Now, if you look at it, it's starting to transfer the files a little bit at a time. And there's a line that goes up to show you the progress. And then you can see right here, it's updating the data on this unit. As you can see now, it moved 1.5 gigabytes and it's all done. So, in this case, it moved the contacts, the call logs, my applications, messages, images, music, more. Now, let's see if it actually kept any of the files. Now, I did realize it did keep my photos. I looked in the contacts, it kept those. It also moved over my call list and you can see the photos there. It doesn't keep your data, it just moves your application over. So it is important that you know your sign-ins when you do this. As you can see, it's not that hard to move all your files over. Now, when you purchase a phone, keep in mind, most salespeople want to do the very basics and get you on your way. So, you know, take it upon yourself to go through all these details and get your information moved over. One thing I didn't point out is whenever you deactivate your phone, then you're not going to have any internet to download the application. So what you want to do is on the phone that has internet and is actually connected is go into your settings go to mobile networks and then actually create a hotspot for your phone and then connect the other phone to your working phone as a internet source then at that point you can download the application disconnect the hotspot and you're ready to go so like all my videos please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel 
And if you want to support me, go to amazon.techstevehd.com. And for now, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.